Can we hack a JWT token? Payload data that is not encrypted. The entire token is not encrypted as such. Okay. If I decode it, you see the header part, then the payload part, and the signature part. All of them are visible here. So we'll discuss six steps using which we can secure a JWT token. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are diving into a burning question. Uh, can we hack a JWT token? And if we can, how do we protect ourselves from it then? So let's find out. So first let's just understand what is a JWT or JSON web token, okay? So a JWT or JSON web token is like a signed permission that proves you are allowed to do something uh, in a server or in an app, okay? So it's kind of authentication token and it's made of three parts. So if you notice, let's say we go to on this JSON web token website, if you notice, every JWT token has two dot uh, two dots in it, right? Here, if you see, there is one dot and there is the second dot is here, right? So these two dots separate the JWT token into three parts: the red part, the pink part, and the blue part that you can see. Okay. Well, so the first part, the red part, is known as the header, which is the information about the token, like uh, the signing algorithm used, the type of the token, etc. And the second uh, pink wala part is the payload. Okay, so it can contain your actual data or claims like your user ID, the name, right? All your uh, data it can be a part of the payload. Then the third part is the the blue blue part that you see that is the signature. Okay, which is nothing but a secure stamp to verify that the token has not been tampered with. What is the significance of this signature? We'll uh, discuss about that in a while. So broadly, this JWT token. Considers three part, right? As you discussed. Now here's the fun fact. Actually, see uh, this JWT token token that you see, right? Uh, these payloads are not encrypted. Okay, I mean this payload data that is not encrypted. The entire token is not encrypted as such. Okay, they are just base sixty four encoded. So if someone gets hand on your token, let's say we uh, get hold of this token somehow, they can decode the payload and uh, they can see what is there inside the token. Okay, let's see how. Let me just copy this token. And I go to go here and put it in a base 64 decoder online uh, thing, right? If I decode it, you see the header part, then the payload part, and the signature part. All of them are visible here. Okay. You see, it's just plain text, right? So rule number one is do not put any sensitive information like passwords or credit card information in your payload. Okay. That's that's for sure. You cannot. Uh, cannot uh, put any sensitive information in the payload at all okay now before uh, jumping into how do we secure a JWT token let's understand first how a JWT actually works okay just uh, note here that signature is, is nothing but the header and payload data which is encrypted with a private key and this private key is only available with the server okay let me just change the slide and let's see how a server verifies whether a JWT token is valid or not okay so it basically does three main checks okay the first thing is the signature validation just like we talked about the third part of a JWT token it does a signature verification how now the server the server uses the secret key let's say this is the private key or secret key to regenerate the signature from the header and the payload okay so header and payload and uh, combined with the private key gives gives us the signature so the so, so what the server will do it will it will generate the signature okay using the incoming header and payload from the token then match it with the incoming signature so basically the server is calculating the signature again then matching with the incoming signature value whether it matches or not if it matches the token is valid if it doesn't match then the token has been tampered with okay also the server looks at the, the exp claim or the exp value if you go here just like we have this kind of claims right like uh, the algorithm the type and all so we can have something called exp or the expiry time using the exp claim we can mention the expiry time of a token so it uses the exp claim to ensure if the token has expired or not if the current time is past the exp time of the token then it means that the token is expired okay and the token is rejected by the server and the third step is it, it does some additional uh, claims check like uh, we can have uh, other different type of claims such as just like exp was a claim we can have other type of claim like iss iss or issuer aud or audience right these are also validated if they are they are present if the token is meant for a different service or different app or different set of users the server can match these fields also whether 
the incoming token is targeting the correct uh, app or service or not okay if any of these three checks fails uh, the server rejects the token and the token is uh, invalidated okay but if a token passes all the checks then the server accepts the token okay now let's discuss how someone can hack the jwt okay so the signature this is what makes a jwt secure secure right uh, and as you discuss it is created using a secret key or a private key which is known by the server only so if an attacker can guess or steal this key somehow okay we don't know how but let's say he is able to guess the private key or he is able to steal the uh, private key then he can create fake tokens okay so few ways in which jwt token can be compromised is a brute force attack okay so if the key is something simple like let's say this key is something like you know password 1 2 3 and the hacker is able to crack this password then uh, crack this private key then everything is gone the token is com compromised right now right or there is a algorithm switching attack also that can happen for example some servers accept a non algorithm non algorithm means they, there won't be any signature present okay in the token so only the header and payload is enough so in in those cases the attacker can tamper with the uh, a token freely right and then uh, send whatever information he wants to send to the server sounds scary right but uh, these attacks only work if the system is not properly secured okay so let's talk with few of the defense mechanisms using which we can secure the token okay so we'll discuss six steps using which we can we can secure a jwt token okay the first step is using strong secrets that means make the signing key of the private key so strong a long random string you can choose with multiple alpha numeric characters uh, that it becomes harder for any attacker to guess the private key okay so the second step is don't put sensitive information as we saw in the first slide don't put any sensitive information like otp or credit card information or passwords etc in the jwt token because they are just base64 encoded which can easily be decoded using a base64 decoder tool now the third technique is to enforce https so always send tokens from client to server on a https connection okay make sure that this connection is ssl or tls enabled and you can check out my video on how ssl and tls works i created a detailed video how it works and a complete uh, symmetric plus asymmetric mechanism behind it click on the i icon to check that video okay so the fourth way is to validate the tokens properly right so as you discussed reject the tokens with invalid algorithms or which do not support any signing key concept right we need to have strong mechanisms to validate these tokens properly okay now the fifth strategy is to have a short token life span that means add expiration time or or the exp claim inside your jwt token and keep it short so that there will be a very uh, less scope or smaller time window for any attacker to hack a given token okay the sixth and final technique we can employ is the token revocation technique so in this token so in this technique if a token is stolen we have to have a way to blacklist a token okay that means if a server verifies a token and finds that this token is compromised because the signature doesn't match if we find that the token is compromised what it can do it can have some kind of storage solution like in database or in cache to blacklist this token so that next time if same token comes to the server it will just reject it upfront okay so always remember that your tokens can be stolen so to wrap up can you hack a jwt token technically it's a yes but only if it's poorly implemented the security aspects are not uh, taken into consideration right then yeah jwt token can be compromised right or it, it can be hacked so the technique is to have a well structured uh, jwt token which ensures all all these types of you know security uh, requirements then it will be very hard to crack that token okay So the key takeaway is understand your tools and use them uh, wisely. Jadalut is powerful but not magical, okay? So so secure it properly and you'll sleep better at night. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to my channel. So and if you have any questions or other tech hack topics that you want us to cover, put them in the comment section. So you can also check out my other playlist, Learn Out of the Box, where I discuss uh, about this type of interesting topics, just like the today's one, right? So you'll definitely find it interesting. So explore this playlist once so you'll definitely love it click on the i icon to explore the playlist also you can check out my other playlist on uh, system design where we combine system design concepts with real life use cases so click on the i icon to explore that playlist as well so if you got any doubts about whatever we discussed in this video put them in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer them
so targeting to reach 1800 subscribers by the end of this month so keep supporting so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one thank you